He was a real hero of mine. Fantastic player. Well, if it hadn't have been for Bruno, there would have been no Beatles. Bruno gave me an invaluable piece of advice. He said, nothing succeeds in life like excess. Oh, looking for a job in searching for a corner cafe. No, I've, I've worked with them all. I, from Whitney to Sly, from Joplin to Aretha. But I'd have to say that the one that I really wanted, the one that got away and that keeps me up at night, it's got to be Bruno. Well, ladies and gentlemen, playing their very first single coming right up, Bruno and the Bad Boy. Ah! Hey, I take your order. There was always a sense of rivalry between East Coast bands and West Coast bands. And uh, there was a battle as to who would go on first. And uh, Bruno Bruno was, was scheduled to go on first. And he wasn't too happy about that. I don't know how many people remember about him or know this about him, but he was the, was the one who wanted to make Woodstock a free festival. <laughs> discovered that we had we had to follow which led to those immortal words that everyone knows me for which started out my career where and I say on camera we're scared let's Bruno showed us this film no one's home you know I think that started the whole psychedelic era forests of ice streets of bone chimes ring out with all I think he took more acid probably than anyone's ever taken in the whole world in one go, you know, and it really impressed me. I don't think we could have actually created the songs that we've done in our careers had it not been for um, yeah. Bruno's assistance. Mm -hmm. He yeah. was there when we... Uh, well, go on, uh, yeah, I, I remember we were writing How Deep Is Your Love. Um, he came up with How Deep. Yeah. And uh, yeah. when we were writing uh, Saturday Night Fever, he came up with Saturday. This will be remembered as the year in which Bruno returned. And this time, he's going to go the distance. <laughs>